Hello and welcome to Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure! If you guys have no idea why this is being upload, uh, uploaded rather than Sonic Unleashed, the reason is quite simple. I talked about this at the end of the last Sonic video, but basically I'm at the, a point in that game where there's so much collection stuff and it's taking so long. It's taking six, seven, eight, even longer to, uh, hours just to make a single episode. And it looks like it's going to get even longer as we get to more difficult stages that we have to complete. So it's getting crazy. So what I'm going to do is take a few weeks to go ahead and do all that collection off, um, off the video. I will record it and I'll make a giant montage of all the collection stuff when I come back. But we're going to play this game in the meantime. I don't think it's too long of a game, so we'll just go ahead and play it, beat this, and then go back to Sonic. So let's get to it. Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. And I guess I have to press 2. Why not? So I'm actually playing this on the Wii U, even though it is a Wii game. And actually, I bought this game almost two years ago now, pretty much right when I started my channel back in 2013. I bought this to actually play on this channel, and it, just, it was just never the right time, but now it finally is, so let's do it. Looks like we have a couple of options here. We have Start New Game or Arcade. Let's go with the third file, why not? I have no idea what to expect here. We get to choose from some pictures of Pikachu. Uh, let's go with this one. Would you like this picture? That looks beautiful. Uh, new Game Created, okay. Play in Poke Park, password or options. Let's go check out the options real quick. We can change our picture. Uh, text speed, we're gonna make that go to fast, of course. Text speed has been changed. Rumble setting, let's do it. Rumble on. And we could delete our file, I guess. I guess we're fine there. I'm not gonna worry about any passwords. Let's just go ahead and play in Poke Park. Let's see what we have. Oh, we got actual cutscenes. Awesome. Hey, Charmander Chikorita. Oh, there's a Piplup too. I don't know why the background is all white, but I guess it is. Oh, what up, Mew? How you doing, buddy? I gotta say, guys, I absolutely love uh, the Pokemon side games. They're not really highly regarded. A lot of people think they're kind of cruddy, and maybe they are, but there's just something charming about them that I've always loved. Even the really weird ones like Hey You Pikachu and all that. Uh-oh. Suddenly, Pikachu has fallen into the darkness. I guess we're all gonna have to chase him. This kind of reminds me of the start to New Super Mario uh, 3D World. I don't know if that's actually new. Just Super Mario 3D World. Oh my gosh. This is... Uh, magical, I guess? Oh, Pikachu! You might want to use your parachute, dude! Or maybe the, uh, the balloons? Balloon Pikachu? Is that a thing? Well, that's quite the loading screen. Alright. Sorry for this, uh, rough starting, Pikachu. Pikachu, that's your name? That's a good name! My name is Mew. I need your help. The sky prism which protects the Poke Park has shattered, and the pieces have fallen all over the Poke Park. If the sky prism's power is lost, the sky pavilion could fall. If it could fall from the sky down onto the Poke Park, I'd like you to. Huh? Please find these sky prism pieces. There are 14 prism pieces in total. Special Pokemon in the Poke Park currently have these pieces. Why don't they just give them to you if they're that important? Wow, they're hoarding these pieces. I'll wait for you in the Sky Pavilion. Please help! Alright, Mew, I've got your back, dude. We'll go and collect these Sky Prism Shards from all these evil Pokemon that are hoarding them, I guess. That is a very, very high-resolution image right there. Oh, I guess it was just a little bit blurry. Hey, what's up, Chadot? Do we get to play as that? No, we gotta play as Pikachu, of course. You're not from around here, eh? Say what, me? I'm Chadon. I'm the Poke Park Guide. Talk to me whenever you have questions about the Poke Park. Say what? You're looking for your friends? Charmander, Piplup, and Chikorita? Ah, I haven't seen them. That's right, there are some things I don't know. Now, I wonder, you may find them in the Poke Park. I'll take you there. Follow me! Alright, Chadon, we'll follow along here. Now, this game came out in 2010, which I guess is right around the time that Black and White came out. So I'm not sure if this has Gen 4 only, or if it has Gen 5 as well, but we'll see. So we gotta follow chat out here, hold the Wii Remote horizontally, and move with the D-pad. And it looks like we can press the one button to sprint, we can press the two button to jump. Alright, let's go Pikachu! Let's just go right along and uh, maybe break that box, we'll find out. Oh, there you are! I want you to try a few things before you go to the Poke Park. You can dash, can't you? See that crate over there? Dash into it! See what happens when you break a crate. Well, we've already learned how to dash. To dash, press one dash into crates to break them. Pikachu, use tackle! Oh, careful. Oh, there we go. And I guess there's a fruit inside there. When you break a crate, you'll sometimes find berries and items. Touch them and they'll be yours. All right. Let's get that. Now, when we tackle that box, it's not like a tackle box from fishing. It's a little bit different. But there's still some bait inside there. 
Uh, you broke open the crate. Nice job. Now let's see if you can jump. You have to be able to jump to get to some places in the Poke Park. I'll be waiting for you over there. Jump over the log, then catch up to me. Press 2 to jump. Press and release for a short jump. Press and hold for a high jump. All right, so we can do a little... That's a short jump right there. And there's a high jump. We do a front flip. I feel like a night elf right now. Hey, chat up. We did it. Okay, you can dash and jump. Now that you know these things, you're ready to go to the Poke Park. The Poke Park has many, many ways to have fun. Everybody enjoys skill games. You play skill games with another Pokemon. The most popular skill game is called Chase. I'll show you how to play. Chase is a skill game in which you have a limited amount of time to tag the other Pokemon. Dash into your opponent and you'll win. Are you ready? I'll run and try. you try to dash into me. All right, so we're basically playing tag right here, but it is a skill game. MLG Pokemon up in here. Three, two, one, let's go, Pikachu! Top tier skills right now. Gotta dash along. I'm not sure if there's any uh, limit to how much we can dash. Oh, we got him! Pikachu used that tackle. Nice job. Well, that wasn't too tough. Definitely very skillful. Oh, that was too much. You've made me feel a little dizzy. You are full of energy, aren't you? All right, you've passed the test. You can play Chase, no problem. Here, please have some berries. When you win a skill game, two good things will happen. The first is that you'll make a friend. If you win a skill game, the other Pokemon will become your friend. Unlike the internet, where if you beat someone at something skillful, they'll call you a scrub. Making a new friend is a wonderful thing. Say what? Oh, of course, you and I are now friends. Let me continue. The second good thing is berries, like I gave you. When you win a skill game, you'll receive berries. You'll find out what to do with them once you get to the Poke Park. That's all you need to know for now. I'll be waiting in the Poke Park. All right, Shadot. So we've made our first friend here. Gotta catch them all, friends. Hey, what's up, Paneri? All right. Uh, hi, are you on the way to the Poke Park too? The Poke Park is a wonderful place. You can make lots of friends and there are many attractions. Oh boy. Once you pass through this forest, you'll be in the Poke Park. See you there. All right, Paneri. Just please don't use the track on me. That'd be a little creepy. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go right to it. We could probably go back around and see what's to the south there, but we're just gonna be pretty straightforward. Ah, oh, crud. Gosh dang it, Snorlax. Okay, what if I dash into him? Let's just let's just talk to Baneri and see what happens here. To talk to a Pokemon, approach him, press 2. When a Pokemon wants to tell you something, you'll see a bubble above the Pokemon's head. Okay. Gosh dang, Snorlax is sounding pretty crazy right now. Oh, hi! We met each other just now. I've been waiting for you. Why? Snox is in the way and I can't get to the Poke Park. You can use that zapping move, can't you? It, it's called Thundershock, dude. Okay, well, we'll use that move to wake up. Oh, Thunderbolt, actually. So we have to press and hold A. Make sure to face your opponent. Press B to face a nearby Pokemon. If no other Pokemon is nearby, your point of view shifts to the direction Pikachu is facing. Okay. So let's go ahead and charge up our Thunderbolt. And let's go, Pikachu! Oh, great. Okay, maybe not the most MLG thing at using Thunderbolt. Let's try that again. There we go. Aimed it properly. I know this wasn't technically a skill game, but took more skill than that dash thing did. Sorry to do that to you, Snorlax, but you're kind of really good at blocking the way. You do this in the anime, you're doing it now. There you go, that's a much better spot to sleep. We did it! Paneri, why are you excited, dude? You didn't do crud. Alright, now you can go play in the Poke Park. See you there. Sounds good. I'll just, uh, follow along. Wait, let's zap. Let's go ahead and zap Snorlax again. Maybe we'll get, like, an achievement. Oh, crud. I didn't mean to do that. Let's just, uh, zap him again. Be my friend, Snorlax! Okay, that doesn't do much. Let's just go. Come on, Pikachu. We've got things to do. People to see. Oh, what's up, Chatot? He is quite the chatter, isn't he? Oh, you're finally here! I have something to give you! You've received the Poke Park Pad. That's called a Poke Park Pad. Well, that, yep, it just told me that. As you make friends, their names will appear in the Poke Park Pad. You know, the best thing about the Poke... How many times have I said Poke Park already in this video? If you guys want to go keep count, be my guest, but it's probably like more than 20. It's making so many friends. When you've made a new friend, open your pad and check it. Filling the pad with the names of all the Pokemon here will be tough. So we basically do have to catch them all, but they're friends this time. So we press the pl uh, plus button to open the Poke Park pad. You can check information about your friends plus your own stats. When you want to stop playing, you can op open up the pad and save your game. Cool. Hooray! Wait, I thought he was already my friend, but I guess now he's my friend. So well, I don't want to talk to you again. I didn't even press the two button. Uh, were you paying attention? Oh, I've got to open the pad, right. Okay, so we'll press the plus button here. <laughs> There's our wonderful picture of Pikachu. So let's go to the friend list here. And you can see number one is Chadot. I guess there's only 28 in the game, so... Oh, never mind. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
Well, if we want to be friends with everything, there's 193 Pokemon in the game. That is a lot of friends to make. I'm not sure if that's a big goal or if it happens really quickly. But let's back out here. Let's go look at Pikachu's stats as well. There's our HP, Dash, Thunderbolt. We don't have Iron Tail yet. And there's all the prison pieces we have to get as well. All right, let's back out here. I could save the game, but not too worried about that. Uh, did you see my name in there? I sure did! When you're talking to a Pokemon, if a picture of the Pokepad Park Pad shows by the Pokemon's name, that Pokemon is already your friend. Okay, so we probably have to play games with a bunch of different Pokemon to become friends, and if they've got that pink little pad next to the name, we're good to go! Alright, so he'll be in the Poke Park. We can talk to him whenever we want to know something. Sounds good, Chatot. So he'll probably be like the information hub of the game, which is actually quite fitting considering his name. Okay, so once again we can go near stuff. Press 2 to read it. Sounds good. Read it, Pikachu. Read that crud. This way to the Poke Park. Talk to Chatot if you want to hint about what to do in your adventure. All right, I think we'll be just fine. We can handle this. Let's go to the Poke Park. Oh my gosh, I do. Just let me go. Enough of these text boxes, man. Pikachu, please don't chase your tail. Oh, okay. That was a very short nap. That's like a Mario nap right there. Hey, this place looks inviting. This is friendly looking. And there's a Bulbasaur. Cool. So you'll probably be the next one we come from. Oh, there's Dialga and uh, Palkia there. So this one definitely feels like a Gen 4 uh, themed game, but who knows? Maybe there'll be some Gen 5 stuff here, too. Oh, we do have a, uh... Is it Krogunk? I forget if it's Krogunk or Toxicroak. I'm not very good with the Gen 4 Pokemon. Meadow Zone, a green and pleasant place. Okay, so this is the Meadow Zone. So there's Baneri... Oh, there's Chikorita! Hey, Chikorita! I thought we lost you. Hey, Baneri as well. Good to see you again. Pikachu, you're safe! Charmander, Piplup, and I are uh, followed you down the mysterious tunnel. Ooh. We all got separated as well. They call this place the po I know. I know it's called the Poke Park. That's come up like 30 times now. I know what it's called. We're in what they call the Meadow Zone. Look how green and pleasant it is. I love this place. Yeah, it's a grass type. I'm sure you would. Okay. I I don't know if Chikorita and I are technically friends because we haven't... He doesn't have the thing next to his name. So when we're here, we can't miss the attractions. If you talk to the Pokemon by the attraction signboard, you can play. You found Chikorita! So I guess that's the second Pokemon getting added to our friend book here. Uh, there's Chata and Baneri. I think I'm going to go up to the board here and see if we can do something with Bulbasaur. So it said we can go play here. Uh, Bulbasaur is Daring Dash, a fast and frantic foot race. You'll need five berries to play. I only have like one berry, unless that one berry counted as multiple. Uh, do I want to play your attraction? I'm afraid you can't. There are rules here in the Meadow Zone, you know. You can't play the attractions. You can't go to other zones. Uh, maybe you could play in secret. That way Venusaur, the zone keeper, might not find... You know what? Let's do that. Let's sneak behind Venusaur's back. I'm sure he's not going to kick our butts. Oh, wow. We got a rainbow next to Chikorita there. Okay. What a waste to have attractions that you can't play. It's such a strange rule. Why don't you, we just play it? Everybody runs when playing my attraction. You clear it if you finish inside the gold time. Normally you need five berries to play Bulbasaur's Daring Dash. I won't charge for a while, though. You're the first customer in ages. All right. Let's go ahead and play it, guys. Our first game here. Right on, that's what I wanted to hear. Sounds great. Compete on the forest course, beat the clock to reach your gold. I guess this game might be kind of like a mini adventure with a collection of mini games. I really don't know what to expect out of Poke Park. I just bought the game because it existed. And I have this goal at the back of my mind where I want to play all of the Pokemon games on this channel at some point, including all the side games. So this is just a part of that. But we have our goal is 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, how to play, shake the Wii. Oh my gosh, I have to shake my Wiimote. The uh, more you shake it, the faster you go. All right. Wow, we have a lot of Pokemon we could choose, but I, I bet you Ponyta or Jolteon would be really good at this. Definitely not Caterpie, but looks like we can only play as Pikachu right now, so let's go ahead and do that. Can you guys imagine picking Magikarp on a Mad Dash? That'll be good. Okay, so we got to get 9.7 to get a bonus. I'm just going to shake my Wii like crazy right here. We're up against some not very fast Pokemon here. All right, get ready to shake. Let's go, Pikachu. Shake that crud. Pikachu, the fastest. Pikachu, use agility. Oh my gosh, just flipping it. Oh wow, we got it in 7.1 seconds. That's pretty good. So we're gonna get that bonus. Looks like we'll get a present for that. Uh, I don't know why we didn't raise Shinx. That probably would have been a better challenge for us. Attraction cleared, wow. Attraction is no more, it's been cleared. Uh, 100 berries, well. That uh, five barrier requirement is suddenly looking like not a big deal at all. And there's a new record. Pretty, pretty good. All right, I can see that. I, I don't know. This game is looking pretty charming to me, guys. 
Just kind of run around, talk to Pokemon, do some mini games. I think it'll be a fun one. Uh, well done, you cleared it. You did it this time, and I have a tip for you. The friends you make through skill games can play attractions, and when a friend of yours clears the attraction, it counts for you. The rule is that if your friend clears it, you've cleared it. That's because you're friends. By the way, this is for you. Oh, wow. I've already got the first of the 14 prison pieces. That was very easy to get. Isn't it pretty? It fell from the sky while I was watching the attraction. Mew spoke to me in a dream. Do you want to know what he said? N not exactly. Uh, he said that I must give this to whoever clears my attraction, so it is yours now. All right. Well, we're working towards helping Mew. Oh, Trico, yo! That's who I want to be. Yes, I just played the attraction. I want to be friends with you, Trico. Please, dude. Don't you know the rules? You can't play the attraction. Then, um, I mean, I didn't play the attraction. Nope, definitely. Oh, crud. We're in trouble, guys. We have to go off to Venusaur now. Trico, I just want to be your friend. Don't gush thing be a tattletale, man. Oh my god, look at poor Chikorita. Where's Pikachu in this mess? Oh, gosh, only Chikorita got in trouble. We're good. Okay, as long as it's not me, I don't, I don't care about Chikorita. Alright, oh no, is this because I invited you to the attraction? Save Chikorita, please. I'm begging you, Mank, you said he was going to see Venusaur. He's passed the gate across the river. Also, take note, Bulbasaur is now our friend. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to go do something real quick. Let's go to the friends list. We have three friends already. So yeah, it looks like Chatot, Chikorita, and Bulbasaur are our friends, which is pretty sick. But alright guys, I guess this was a good little a good little introduction to the game. I guess we'll come back next time, and we'll go and see if we can save Chikorita from Venusaur. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'll see you guys then. Take care.